Hello everybody and welcome to another ball review here on the channel. This time for the Season 29 ball combined with the Ninja ball here in Gold Clash the game. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Also visit goldclashtommy.com for more Gold Clash related content for free. Also check out our ball page where you will be able to find pictures of all the balls in Gold Clash but also the stats and you know everything that you do need to help you pick the correct ball for certain situation. And also patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy for the tour and tournament guides uh, there for you. So let's take a look. We start with the season 29 ball power three, top spin boost three, side spin one, wind resistance one. Yuck. Oh, oh, oh. This ball is so bad in my opinion. And the reason this one makes it so bad is I can I can deal with power three. That's okay. You know, I can deal with a side spin too, but wind one, come on. This ball makes it worse than a titan. And somewhat an upgrading upgraded quasar and you know and that is fine I guess but it's not really a ball that I would invest in now the season 29 ball came as a bundle together with the ninja ball so you didn't really have an option but um, you know top spin boost fine could give you a little bit extra but I do really see this one as you know we use it in tour play maybe but we use it when we are low on the other balls because this one is my in my opinion not really worth investing in and i think i'm gonna rate this one as up two out of ten oops it's like even maybe almost one out of ten you know it's gonna be somewhere around that i don't really think this is a good ball sure it's a nice looking ball but that's about it but let's take a look at the ninja ball though because now we're gonna turn around completely we have power three side spin two wind resistance five needle speed is gonna be plus two which is a, like a titan and looking at this ball this is in my opinion an all-around ball you can use this one in tournament play with good success on par fives par fours par threes in all the divisions and you can use this one on every tour in the game for 12 down to yeah to one if you would like to use it there in my opinion this is one of the best balls in the game and the reason for that is that it is you know Power 3, side spin 2, win 5. We have only had power 3, side spin 1, win 5 before. And those were really, really good. But then la the lack of only having one side spin really made it not to be a tour play ball at all. And also made it hard to use in certain situations on par 3s in, in tournaments. But now we have the side spin 2. There is no excuse. This is a 9 out of 10 in my opinion. And this is a really, really good ball. So a 9 out of 10 is the rating that I would give for the Ninja ball. And uh, I hope you got some when uh, when you had the possibility to purchase. Uh, so a 2 out of 10 for the Season 29. 9 out of 10 for the Ninja ball. Definitely two, like, oh, two really uh, different type of balls there. Let's take a look at the needle speed for both of the balls. Uh, and we start off with the Ninja Ball, put it to max, and then it's time to just uh, go back. And again, this is like a Titan, so this is definitely something we can work with. It's not often you do go with overpower with this type of ball, but it could definitely be to use to go with a little bit of overpower from time to time, depending on situation. Season 29, and it's still a power 3, so we're going to let, uh, let it be in the same position. And we do have a good needle speed on that one. And But again, you know, I, I don't really see when we're going to use it. And just to, for the sake of it, we do have plus three, which is like a kingmaker, which gives it, you know, maybe, yeah, it is, yeah. Oh, no, I don't like that ball. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comment section, uh, section below. Thank you so much for watching this ball review and a good luck in your Gold Clash game.